in the world, we all hold the key inside. Sunshine shows us the way, beautiful prisms of colors on display. You gotta keep moving forward in life, you gotta do it with that love deep down inside. Northern star in the sky, you'll always have something constant by your side. First, you start to love yourself, and then you start to hear deep inside. You only get one chance in this life, you better, oh, you better do it right. one was called Priceless Soul. A little two-song melody there for a second. You got to retune real quick and take a drink. Bella sounds good, doesn't she? Bella sounds great. <laughs> I feel so humbled. Yeah, me too. In Bella's presence and yours. <laughs> Thank you. you. Same to you, my friend. Thank you for coming with me. Really a blessing right there, man. I wish you weren't, but for real. It's my friend Kayla there, beautiful musician, biker, <laughs> badass swimmer. Dude, 
She's going to swim from Alcatraz to the shore now in October. Oh, yeah, right on. I, I have a friend that did that. Said it was really cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, that was that was a cool song. Thanks, man. It was two songs I just dropped in for melody. The second was called Priceless Soul. Priceless Soul? No, Priceless. Priceless Soul. Yeah. They're in the same key. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, it, it, you know. There's songs of love and hope. You know, you know, to give people out there some hope. You know, I mean, we all struggle through life. We all go through stuff. You know, but yeah. music is so sacred and so healing. You know, and it gives people. You know, a sense of, of calamity. Calamity. You know, I guess, you know. It's, it's a community. Community. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, yeah, a yeah, sense yeah. of calamity. Well, it's a calamity that creates community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, it makes sense. It really does because it's universal language. Universal language. Sax or, or music? Music. Music. I thought, I thought you said, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a universal language. Um, so, uh, what are you gonna play next? And uh, are you gonna bring your friend up to do some some singing with you? What what's uh, uh, what's the plan, Stan? I really have no plan. I just uh, man, I just man, I just like to pick and you know yeah. and just you know turn people on to to tunes. Um, uh, Kayla does her own thing actually. She uh she got a beautiful voice too and stuff. You know, but we have, we haven't rehearsed any tunes yet. You know, right so on. You got like anything uh, anything recorded? Back here. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I, what I do is I, I do a commuter rock concert. I do commuter concerts, commuter classical in the morning, commuter rock in the afternoon, commuter bluegrass in the evening, and then commuter jazz late night at, at night. Wow. And uh, uh, so I, I have people come on. Uh, I have music. Uh, I broadcast music videos all all day. Uh, some days I, I take off. But I... Uh, Generally, I've got a lot of good music, and, and I've got a uh, Lafayette Originals is um, it's meant to be a channel that that has a whole bunch of other artists on it. I've only got two other artists on it so far, but uh, what what I was going to do is uh, if you like what we do uh, tonight, then what what was going to happen is I was going to uh, give you the the a link to this show tonight and to all your songs. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll, you can pick one and, and I'll I'll edit it out for you and uh, and then if you if you approve then I'll, I'll put it on on my daily broadcast Absolutely. and uh, if uh, you can do anything with it that you want you can put it on your channel I, I can uh, if, uh, I'll ask if I can put it on my channel that sort of thing absolutely absolutely yeah. the, the, the music's for the people you know yeah. Yeah, yeah it's meant to be out there for the people I have another friend named Shay Spencer and uh, man she's super talented at writing you know her original sounds and stuff and just straight yeah talent. you spread the word if you've got anybody that, that yeah. would like to come and do this uh, I'm, I'm doing it like once every two weeks or once every week if I find some people uh, last week I had a few gigs a few years ago and and uh, and, and he, he's a just an incredible songwriter uh, kind of like you but uh, uh what are you gonna play next? What you got for us? Um, probably play Gypsy Baby. Gypsy Baby. Yeah. Okay. Is that yeah. about gypsies? Um, she's my little Cajun queen. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you need some gypsy jazz violin or what, what's the? Uh, let me play a little riff real okay. quick, just to make sure how it goes. It, it, it's one of those crooked tunes, but it's actually not in time. You know. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a little tricky, but. <laughs> She's 
Sounds a lot. So, uh, where do you come up with this, uh, with these ideas? Um, what, what, what kind of stuff did you listen to when you were, uh, when you were like a little kid growing up, and then in high school and stuff? Wow. Okay. Well, I come from an ancestral lineage of musicians. So, growing okay. up, my, yeah, my dad didn't let us watch TV. He was always stuck behind amplifiers and stuff. But I've been a deadhead since I was six. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm a baby of the family. My older brother. I grew up with all the punk rock, the thrash, the metal. I remember. Yeah. I was a kid and I called Slayer a bunch of posers and he beat me up. What'd you say about Slayer? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't tell, right? You know? But uh, I, I pretty much like my father, I got like all the old R&B, soul, doo-wop, jazz, you know, oh, yeah. and uh, like some Native American stuff. And my like mom's Bill like, Withers and stuff? All that uh, Bill Withers. Yeah, oh, everything. Too, little, so. you got all that lovely day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, oh, and uh, uh, the one where, where uh, 
he says I, 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 something about I, I, I was better off without you, and then he then he, hit, he shoots his a gun like he. Whoa, it's, like it's, really it's, it's, song. it's it's like it's 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 a lot. It's like this a terrible like got broken up with song. You could feel and the then, pain he, in And then he, at the end of the song, he take he, there's a there's a gunshot. Oh, <laughs> <you> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> she likes she sings a bunch of murder ballads. <laughs> Not a murder ballad. He's, he's commit suicide. Oh God, that's even worse. Like, that's horrible. <laughs> God, I've never heard this. I wasn't in Yeah, yeah, you gotta check it out. I, I can't remember, but if you Google that, I'm sh I'm sure it will show really? up somewhere. It's it, his last line is great. I I wish I could remember it, but then then there's the gunshot. And it's like, <laughs> oh, big Van Morrison fan. Everything. Big Van Morrison. Oh, big Van. I mean, with that, yeah. just that, I mean everything. I mean, uh, gosh, who who's not great out there? I mean, people who are doing their own thing in their own time out there and creating from what's coming from the heart. Because I grew up playing everybody else's music. I got yeah. to a point about 15 years ago. When, I when did you start writing? 15 years ago? Well, when I first actually first tried writing, my first song was about six years old, you know? Yeah? Yeah, but then pretty much, you know, from there, during the space of my life, you know, growing up being a teenager, wanting to be a ball girl and all this other crap and stuff, you know, yeah. stuff, you know, kind of took things down a little bit. But you have to have something that makes you stand out in the crowd, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I mean, suffering and stuff like that made a lot of kids I was at one point, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I actually really took a took a serious attempt at, at writing my own music about 15 years ago. 15 years yeah. ago. Uh, How old are you now? 46. 46. Yes. So it's cool. Uh, uh, there's a I'm playing a gig on a, on Saturday at a place in Pacifica. Uh, mm -hmm. You should come down. And I you meet the, the the guy who arranges it is a, a violin student of mine, and he uh, he puts on a songwriter showcase like. Every month, really, and uh, uh, he's gonna have six bands there. It's at a coffee shop. Really? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, new thing, and uh, I, I wish I could remember the name of the coffee shop. I've got it somewhere. I'll look it up. Isn't it one but, of the uh, beach? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Near the Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what you gonna play now? Um, I'll probably play the first tune that I ever wrote about fifteen years ago. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm gonna check on the monitor and stuff. Yeah. Huh? Um, I'll before I do that, I do gotta say I'm very honored and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to uh, share my sounds. You know. Yeah, and yeah. Well, I'd love and to have jam with you. Come bro. back. Yeah, because that first time we jammed, we were yeah. the top. You know, like what? Yeah. I, I, I wanted to get together beforehand, but I've just been really, really swamped with trying to keep up with stuff. But I, I definitely will work some stuff out. Yeah, for sure. Time. Yeah, yeah. I, I do this like. Uh, I'd like to do it every week, but once, once every two weeks. Right. Yeah, I haven't played this song in probably like about, uh, maybe like about ten years. What's it called? Dragonfly. Dragonfly, right? Yeah. Winter time. Still comes early, a dragonfly looking for mercy. There's bigger things me and you. I thought I saw you over by the highway. Your hair it was the same. Blue. I tried to see what the fog it was in my way. Oh, twisting around to cover you. Oh, take me now. I can't hold on much longer. I need the sun. Like my way, reflecting on the colors of the illusion. This dragon pie has found its way. Oh. 
eternity still surrounds me. There's nothing more that I can do. I fly beyond the bells of modern reason. I spread my wings in search of you. Years underwater, I've been waiting. Now the sun eclipses. Oh, I need the sun to light my way. Reflecting on the color of the illusion, this dragonfly. Found love on another way. So that's cool. So I, I was thinking, uh, you know, I've got these, these painted these walls green. So yeah, yeah. so it's like green screen. You, you put on like I've, I've got videos where I, I've got animation going on and stuff. And uh, maybe you could do that one, and uh, and I'll, I'll put like a dragonfly flying around and like yeah. all kinds of heavy metal sort of movie kind of stuff. You've got some very healing videos. Uh, some what? <laughs> Very hilly videos. I sat there a couple nights, dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, tripping on, you know, just yeah, you know, just uh, yeah. crewing, you know, crewing, you know, you know, the whole background scene, but the lyrical content, dude, everything, bro. Yeah, you, you, uh, you got a serious crap that you got going on there. Oh, wow, thanks. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So yeah, so do you. Um, so where are you playing next? Um, you know, actually tomorrow on the street. Yeah. Um, where where are your spots? Well, I play all over. Pretty much all over. Yeah, uh, pretty much my main spots is up and down Hate though, but I actually, yeah. I actually play at uh, Abrams, you know, Farmers Market there. Farmers Market. Yeah, there, there in Richmond. Richmond. Do you have it? Uh, I said a, a gig that, that you you sign up for? Or no, it's just busking. Just go busk. Yeah. That's cool. in, in actuality, I'm a different type of busker because you see everybody out there with their case, yeah, or a can or a hat. I don't. I just sit out there and I just play for the people. Oh yeah, me. really? I just play because you know wow. for our creator that gave me the talent to spread this joy with everybody. And stuff, you know. That's that's really generous of you. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you know, people will walk up and they'll, you know, offer me money, and I'll take it, of course. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, because I'm not a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah. I mean, I wish I was. I would just give it all back out, right? You know. But pretty much, when I do play, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't put out the case. Well, something. I have uh, a sign that says up for adoption, I, or. I wanted to just interject. Uh, there's something along those lines that I just found out, and I, I got it. I'm, I'm uh, fiscally sponsored by a nonprofit. They don't give me money, but they allow me to do fundraising tools with uh, people can make donations and uh, they can pay me for lessons. Uh, they can get either 100% tax write-off or, or partial tax write-off for uh, for my projects. Wow. And I've got this project that's like, uh, I, I don't want to talk about myself, but yeah. uh, I, it's it's my, li my life's work. And so like anything I do, uh, people can give me money and get a tax write-off. So you, that's something you should think about is fiscal, fiscal sponsorship. I'm very interested in something like that yeah. because it's about helping people, you know, it's about moving. It's all about moving forward and advancing in a positive way. Yeah, life, you healing know? and, and uh, just spreading the love. Yeah, basically, yeah. you know. The, you know what, man? The world needs more musicians out here, people who actually chuck it and play it and sing about it real because it, it, it's it, it's these lights that are shining around. You know, it's yeah. a connection with people. You yeah, know? I, I hear that. Uh, uh, if the if everybody in the world were a musician, it would be pretty peaceful and, and rocking. <laughs> well, you know, okay. For example, you know, I don't I don't want to get off track or anything like that. But let's take for example all this new technology that's coming around, right? Okay. And yours in my day and age when we grew up, we we're functioning on all six senses of the human body. When you met a woman, you went out of your way to get her to notice you. 
you're comfortable in your own skin. You know, now with all this EDM, all these young people, they're just in there stuck on these video games all day long. You know, they, you know, they, they don't take a chance to go outside and connect with other people the way they should, you know, yeah. and music and, and, and stand-up comedy and the arts, they're actually really the last true form of human expression. Yeah, you know? yeah, these performing arts are, uh, they're dying. Uh, I, I don't, I don't get the same kind of uh, reaction I do uh, that I used to on the, on the street. Uh, a lot of the younger generation, they're uh, a little more uh, oriented to something that's got a lot more stimulation. Uh, whether whether it's uh, being you know, the DJs dancing with lights and, and all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff, or or if it's playing video games and and the 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 sound the sounds that uh, they appreciate are are electronic sounds, which is cool. Right. Uh, it's it's really cool. I love electronic music, but so, uh, right. it sounds like video games. Uh, right. Kids they grow up like from the time they're a little baby until until they're six years old. It's like it's video games everywhere. Yeah. No, they're 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 evolving with technology very yeah. rapidly and like super 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 intelligent with that. I mean, they're they're oh, yeah. on point with it. You're right from a baby to yeah. I mean, I've seen three year olds holding a phone and like, how do you work through that? Yeah. <laughs> you know? and I, I didn't know how to work a phone until I turned about 45. <laughs> sponsorship. I, 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 if anybody is around us out there, uh, fiscal sponsorship. Uh, you get you get sponsored by a nonprofit and uh, they they set you up for any kind of fundraising. You can do uh, crowdfunding and, and people will, will give to the crowd. It's, it's like it's like they give money. And it's like putting money in the bank because around tax time they get they get the money back. That, that's super. You know what? Because I, I mean they're obviously giving it for for a good cause. You know. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it's like this. Okay, I'm I'm all about helping people with a positive thing. You know. Okay, I, I used to drink, right? Oh and, yeah. And, yeah. And I and, and I quit. You know. And part of the reason was that because I'm out there. I'm doing my thing. Families are walking by with children. This kid sees me doing my thing. Gets inspired. Picks up an instrument. Comes back a week later and sees me on the block drunk, like you know, acting like a you know like a moron. That's not a good example setting. Yeah. That's not setting a positive forward example, you know. And people like that have foundations like that, dude. Well, I'm pretty sure that they allocate that money to to the right places where it's supposed to go to the people who need it. Maybe you know underprivileged kids, camps, whatever. I I'm not sure right. what it is, yeah. but but it's all going for a good cause. You know. Yeah, that's that's cool. You've got a, a really good soul. You, you should you should get in, into this fiscal sponsorship uh, nonprofit thing. And, yeah, and seriously, and spread the love. Uh, so what are we gonna play? Um, I'm gonna play you a sad one. This, this is Kayla, right? Uh, yes. And you wanna bring her up to do a song? Um, could we, before, before we finish up, uh, we're not, we're not, we're not you wanna, you wanna finish up right now. I can, I can provide backing vocals if yeah. I can. Have you, have you ever heard that one? I saw you dancing there. That bluesy one that I played. I like bluesy stuff. Yeah, okay. Cool, man, come on up. This is my friend Kayla Ryan. She is also a very talented musician, a very beautiful singer. We're both bikers. We're both bikers. <laughs> gonna make me wash the spokes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you dancing with your friends in your eyes, baby, and rested on me again. A sad little smile it crossed your face, and do you still? And do Tears fill my eyes 
the door. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I got some instrumentals. I'll play you guys some instrumentals too as well. It's not everything's all about vocals and stuff. <laughs> I don't, you gotta sing a little more. I, I, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you wanna try it again? Oh, you're a Kurt Let's do it. Everybody wants to hear you. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna grab that, uh, that yeah. violin and, and, do, and do some drop D stuff? Sure. Some impressions? Yeah. I mean. What are you great on that violin? I mean, pretty heavy duty. Ah. Let's see. We'll, uh, we'll shred on that first one that, uh, we are doing that night. Alright. Gotta have parents or else I can't sing nothing. I can't. I'm not a good songwriter. <laughs>
enjoyed it um dude we got we got like four viewers right now really yeah <laughs> right on. i don't know if it's still there but right right cool yeah 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 and more people will see it too because i always put the link too oh um, right on too. um i definitely uh i definitely man will start spreading the word around about this i do want to get involved with this uh nonprofit organization oh yeah yeah, yeah. i I'll, I'll give you some 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 ideas i you want to play a couple more i've still got plenty of time on the right on the camera well um yeah i'd like to but she actually has to get back down to feed a rabbit now yeah. Oh. Too, yeah. oh yeah okay dude that rabbit's part billy goat bro yeah billy rabbit he's yeah, yeah, in right. the house if i don't feed him <laughs> yeah, i had a pair of boots right there we're jamming one day over there and all of a sudden i put some nibbling on my boots right there he ate my boots <laughs> yeah dude that's a great jacket thank you um man what'd you think man I, I thought it was awesome. I'd like yeah, to have you back, man. Yeah, I'd like to be back, bro. Um, uh, whew. I, you know, I got like 60 originals. Almost 60 originals. 60? Almost 60 of them. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll come back and play the other 30. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know, for reals, man. I mean, yeah. I already played a couple now, you know, tonight. I, uh, man, it's been a long, like, last two weeks, man, I went to the hog farm over the Wavy Gravy's hog place. Farm. Wavy yeah. Gravy? Yeah, oh, really? Lakeville. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they're days between, man, you know. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They came back and seen Taj Mahal on Sunday. Yeah, I went and saw went and saw the the, the well the rest of the dead. Yeah, uh, really? down down at uh, Shoreline, not Shoreline, uh, uh, Stanford. Uh, this was a couple months ago. Oh uh, yeah, uh, was that was that Bobby or was that was that the the Phil and Friends? Uh Phil and Friends. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was. I missed that when I was in New Mexico, but I seen him at Stern Grove and. Stern Grove, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and then Taj Mahal just played at Stern Grove. He was good too. Yeah, man. I seen him there too. Yeah. yeah, I came back. I've been trooping up and down, seeing all these shows all around, man. Oh, you right know, on. Playing everywhere, just spreading the love, dude. You know? Yeah. That's like, it, it's. Well, keep it up, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, man. I, I look forward to jamming with you, like, like you know, like getting down so we can collaborate with yeah. some stuff down, dude. I mean, you're, yeah. you're mean with that violin. I never met anybody who can play on, on, on you know, on, on that, playing drop D like oh, this, dude. Thanks. Yeah, you know, like people, they're like, oh, well, you know. Yeah. What are you playing right there? Drop me, can you tune up? You know, it's like, yeah, no, dude, you got some mad skills, Mr. Ben. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Uh, it's nice of you. Uh, usually people are telling me to stop playing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll be playing, and somebody like, okay, stop playing. <laughs> I, you know what? I've, uh, I've had both reactions, too. I've had people where I've had them cry by some of the stuff that I played. Now I've had people yeah. saying, stop playing, don't quit your day job. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think people like that are just people who are who, who who they don't they don't know how to show, you know, like you know, like props or, or kudos or anything. So instead, they just 